anak-anak kami ini kan.
Okay, so I'm just now starting to wrap up editing for the day. It ran over by about an hour, but for a good reason. I, uh, I put together an hour long, or almost an hour, uh, doc called Bringing Back the Ball. And it's episode one of that. It's about 45, 50 minutes long. And it's going to chronicle the whole year um, of me trying to like make props for the ball. And it's, it has a 30-minute section where I just talk about how the ball started, where it went to, where it's been, where it's going. So it's a very, you know, comprehensive documentary about the masquerade. And I'll be continuing that um, weekly or whenever I have updates on the props and the well-being of the project. So it ran over by about an hour. My time limit was three hours. Uh, so next I'm going to paint for three hours, uh, but I might do two hours because I have to compensate a little bit because I have a lot to do today. Anyway, you can see that this is going to be rendering for some time.
And now we're going to go to the auto zone to pick up a truck part and to the dollar store to pick up soap and then to Home Depot. Okay, got the part, ready to put in the truck. Okay, so we've got this. I'm going to plug it in here. As far as I can tell, that's the way to do it. I don't know. We've got all these connections, so you have to have adapters. That's one. Sweet biscuits. So now we just wait until that boots up and then I set it up and then we try to see if it'll take itself and put it in three different screens.
First coat of many. We are now going to Janet's. Get the truck. Okay, so slight change of plan. Um, I can't use Janet's truck right now because she's having problems with the. She's having a hard day, so instead I'm going to go to Aldi and buy her some groceries and get some wine. And then I'm going to get myself a nut for this new car part. And then I'm going to go home and fix my truck. And then I might go to Home Depot tonight or tomorrow. trying to sleep. Okay, I just got back from Walmart. I put maybe $25 in to some groceries and maybe a bottle or two for Janet and I. Because she needs a good relaxed day. And uh, I tried to get a, a nut for my car part, but I couldn't find one. So I'm going to stop by, um, I'm going to stop by AutoZone real fast. And then I'm going to stop by a vacuum place and vacuum out my car so I can drive Lyft tomorrow. So. That was fun. The guy in the store, uh, told me that he didn't have anything to fit that. Um, even took me to the rack of bolts uh, where it should have been and uh, said, oh yeah, you know, I don't think we have anything that small. You know, your best bets to go to Carson's, da 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 da. And that was after he kind of ignored me when I came in. But luckily I'm not an idiot and uh, I found the bolt. 
Yep, it's one of these. I just had to use my, you know, eyes and actually look. And, uh, yeah. Sometimes, you know, people just react to you in a funny way. And they don't really want to give a fucking, like, help you. I think in Walmart, got a lot of dirty looks, got a lot of weird looks in Walmart just now. And, uh, <laughs> before I had even gotten my groceries off of the, uh, register, some woman plopped her big-ass box on top of it as I was trying to get my shit. It's like, people just don't respect me some days, isn't it? I could say it's because I'm trans, and it might be because this shit never happened to me when I presented masculine. But it, maybe it's just people are shitty sometimes. I don't know. But now I'm going to go get a vacuum for my car. Good. Whoa. I don't have it, man. I'm sorry. No. for Rocky Horror and the uh, in the backstage there their globe it was broken like it was on the table just in, like in pieces and I was like god that's a global catastrophe Okay, it's 12. I was at Janet's for three hours drinking an entire bottle of wine. And now I'm going to change clothes and go to downtown. So, Sharky's was nice. Was 
the time I got there, I was already kind of drank a whole bottle of wine at Janet's and had some very intimate, honest conversations. Very telling and revealing conversations, and that was cool. I learned a lot about my friend. And then Sharky's is cool because almost immediately, as soon as I set foot in the bar, and made my way up to the bar and ordered, there was this gentleman beside me who immediately started talking to me and took interest. And he stayed by me the whole night. And we engaged in conversation for about an hour until I left. And he's 40, so he's much older than me. Um, well, I guess, I'm, I guess not too much older now, but, you know, we talked, and he's works at a local recording studio, and uh, he talked art and music and mediums and all sorts of things, and he, <laughs> I, he said something that made me want to ask him, hey, have you ever seen what we do in the shadows? Because there's that scene in the movie where he says, I would just enjoy it if, you know, more if I knew someone wasn't fucking my sandwich. And all I could say was, have you ever seen what we, and then he said, what we do in the shadows? Yeah. And then I was like, have you, and then he's like, ever seen the movie? And he's like, yeah. And then he's like, there's that one scene. It was really hot. I had never seen anybody actually fit. He finished my entire thought. Way, and then I left to wander around downtown, and I ran into him again. He was like, I'm pretty sure if I had noticed you, you would have just, you know, I feel like you vaporized, and, you know, if I, if I, had, if I hadn't seen you, you would have sucked my blood. I was like, yes, that's true. And he asked me where I was. I told him I was the other direction, and I gave him a hug, and we walked our separate ways, and then I went to Waffle Anyway, and then Waffle House is cool. Uh... It was Waffle House. I got a 2X special. That was cool. Uh, a bunch of what I'm assuming are high school or college kids came in. All wearing like prom dresses and tuxedos. And they all kind of had like the curly hair of, you know, Justin Timberlake and one of them had like the tattoo and the chain necklace and the blazer of like maybe a young Scott Weiland and I just it felt like I was watching Scream you know at the very beginning before death happened and it reminded me of my youth and how I had once been a part of a collection of young people meeting in a Waffle House and celebrating something. I mean, it was a hot new thing. You know, it just, it made me nostalgic, honestly. It was nice. And the food was all right. I opted out of coffee for once and actually got a hot chocolate. So, 
On days like today, I just mostly regret not doing more.